Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. In today's broadcast, we will report on the background of the incident on June 17th, where Russian journalists were killed in action, Igor Konelyuk and Anton Voloshin. Hundreds of Russian journalists risk their lives working in Ukraine. They report on bombing, artillery fire and illegal weapons of the Ukrainian army. So about incidents and facts that we hardly hear anything about in Western media. Their videos may be used later as means of evidence, for instance in Den Haag. They prove crimes of the Ukrainian government. In turn, the Ukrainian government, however, tries to cover up their tracks and stop all alternative news reports from southeastern Ukraine. The Ukrainian Secret Service, SPU for instance, detains Russian journalists with official entry permission without further ado. Generally, one tries to prevent their entry at all. Yet this isn't successful because the border between Ukraine and Russia is not guarded everywhere. The two Russian TV journalists, Igor Konelyuk and Anton Voloshin, were killed on June 17th, supposedly by Ukrainian mortars. But Valery Bolotov, leader of the self-proclaimed Lugansk People's Republic, claims that the, in the corpse of one of them a sniper bullet was found. Consequently, there must be something wrong about the official version of the cause of death. On June 19th, a blacklist from the Ukrainian Secret Service became public. They are searching for 87 people, alleged leaders of the popular uprising. It compromises many journalists from Russian newspapers and TV stations. They are blamed for, I quote, active participation in actions of illegal military organizations. A telegram to all police stations issued by the Ukrainian Department of the Interior gives the order seek and detain. The announcer of a broadcast on Russia One commented the hunt for Russian journalists in the Ukraine. One has to presume that Russian journalists officially are fair game for shooting there. The deputy leader of the Russian presidential administration, Alexei Gromov, explained during the funeral service for Igor Konelyuk, nobody of the hundreds of Russian journalists is leaving there and nobody wants to do so because they are carrying out an extremely important mission. They tell the truth and by this they are saving hundreds and thousands of human lives. Ladies and gentlemen, the two Russian journalists, Igor Konoyuk and Anton Voloshin, risked their lives for a truthful, authentic field reporting in Ukraine. Klagomara TV makes an effort to take such silenced voices to the public and to bring light into the vague correlations in the Ukraine conflict. Thank you for your effort to win more and more new viewers so that the broad public can take notice of this. Goodbye until next time.